Hey guys, my name is Celise Rose and I hope this video can help you out in any way, shape or form. Truth be told, I used to cry over the same person for years. I used to sit in the corner and be lifeless and helpless and not knowing what to do in my life or where to go. I used to let the same person hurt me over and over again. And instead of leaving, I would be like, you know what, it's okay because they didn't mean it like that. It's okay because they promised they wouldn't do it again. It's okay because they promised that they would never hit me again. I'm just gonna stay with this person because they're promising me a better life and that they'll be better. And I'm just gonna stay here because I don't think I deserve better because I don't know any better. Because this person is all that I know because I've only loved this person so much wholeheartedly that they're all that I know. So therefore, this is what they're giving me. This is what I'm settling for because this is all that I know. That was the most depressing thing of my life because I really started to believe that I did not deserve better. And I started to believe that that was as good as it was ever gonna get. And I was like, dang. When I was a kid, I would think about you know being in love and being married and it being such a beautiful thing and it just working out so perfectly. And as I started growing up, that wasn't the case back then. And I was like, dang, like love is really painful. It hurts and it's not fun and I don't like it. And that was because it wasn't love. Because love, love will do a lot of things to you, you know what? It makes you do crazy things, not in a bad way. But love is not pain. Love does do things, it makes mistakes because no one is perfect and you can expect someone to be perfect just because it's love. But love will make you feel good. It'll make you feel loved. It will make you feel beautiful. It will make you feel everything that you've never felt before. It will make you feel even more. It will show you how much you're worth and even more than that. But lust will pain you and hurt you and confuse you and make you lose yourself and make you so upset and depressed over the same person. And sometimes you're like, dang, there really is no way out of this, is there? I'm literally sitting here crying my eyes out every night, not knowing where to go and what's gonna happen next. So when I was with this person, I lost myself. I lost direction of where I was supposed to go, who I was, what I was supposed to do. I had no money in my account. I had literally $20 to my name in my car. And I was like, okay, cool, to pump gas or to save it just in case. We get in a fight and I'm gonna need food because this person's gonna kick me out. At that point, I was like, you know what? It's okay because I'm in love. And it's okay if they hurt me because I'm in love, right? This is supposed to be love, right? I completely lost sight of myself and my goals and my dreams and of who I wanted to be and what I want to do in my life just because I was so infatuated by a toxic person. I was infatuated by a toxic person. I was in love with the thought of this person. I was so in love with the thought of being in love that I settled. I was so in love with being loved, period that I started to settle. I was so in love with just being a forever, not knowing this person was only a seasonal type of person. How can I expect someone that was meant to be in one part of my life for a season to be my forever? And that's why it didn't work out. I didn't understand that. I didn't understand that, that not everybody in your life is supposed to be there forever. Some people are here for a season. Some people are here forever. It's not your, your call. We cannot pick that. It's all up to God. And until I gave my life to God and I trusted him fully, my life didn't make sense. I was like, what is going on right now? I don't understand this. And when I tell you I was depressed, I literally mean I was depressed and crying every day and I was sad and it was, it was a roller coaster for me. And I finally was like, how much more are you gonna take? I literally sat there and I was like, how much more can your heart really take? You have such a big heart and you're giving it all to the wrong person and you're giving them excuses for them hurting you and you're letting them hurt you because you keep telling them it's okay and the more you make it okay to make it hurt you, people will always hurt you. Whatever you allow will continue. Whatever you water will grow. Whatever you not put a stop to, it will never stop. So instead of me waiting for this person to learn how to love me, I learned to love myself instead. Because I was I was so convinced that maybe if I, if I make her into a certain way, she'll learn how to love me. Maybe if I do certain things, she'll figure out how to love me. That was just me being empty and lost, looking for love in places that it was never gonna fulfill my needs because what I really needed was to be loved by myself. If you don't love yourself, you will settle. If you don't love yourself enough, you're gonna let people give you the love that they think that you deserve whenever you deserve more love than that. So if someone tells you that you deserve this amount of love, you're gonna take that because you don't know how to love yourself and that's all that you know. When in reality, you take a step back and realize what you deserve and you realize who you are and you realize your worth and that becomes so powerful, you're like, dang. 
I am worth gold. I deserve to be loved in a way that I can love back. Just because some people may not see that or may not understand how much I'm worth does not change my worth or determine who I am. I know my worth now and it feels so good. And it's funny because nowadays people always tell me, Celise, you've changed. Wow. You're not who you used to be anymore. As if that's supposed to offend me. And I'm like, you're right. I'm not. I'm not weak anymore. I'm not scared to be loved and I'm not scared to love and I'm not scared to live and I'm not scared to take chances and I'm not insecure anymore. So yeah, like I did change for the better. I'm not saying that I'm this whole great person nowadays and I'm perfect and blah blah blah. No, but I am saying that whenever you let go of your fear and you accept life the way it is and you take that one big step, that scary step as letting go of someone toxic, your life will change that fast. I know it's scary to let go of that one job you hate. I know it's scary to let go of that one friend that you have. Of that one relationship that you have. I know it's so scary because that's all that you know. If you never take chances, how are you fully living? Do you want to be comfortable in one spot settling with this person and this job? And you want to just settle for this amount of money? You want to settle with this bullshit so-called love never you are worth so much more you can get so much more but you don't know you deserve more because that's all you know because you don't give yourself a chance to fully live so whatever people give you even though it's this much you think it's the world because you've never actually gotten what you deserved but because you don't allow things to happen for you the moment you figure out exactly who you are and what you deserve, that is a moment where you're gonna stop settling. That's, that's just my opinion. It's not easy to let go of certain things that you're comfortable with. But like back then, when I let go of someone toxic in my life, I took a step back and I was like, okay, am I actually happy or am I just comfortable? Happy means that you, may, you, you give me life and I give you life and we're so happy and we motivate each other and we uplift each other and love each other and we we can pray together and I, I can't wait to see you or am I comfortable where it's mostly all bad times but I guess our good times are okay and it gives me some kind of a high on life and I mean I don't feel like starting over again so why not just stick around here do the same thing with the same person the same thing all the time the point where I convince myself that I'm actually happy when I'm really just comfortable with this person comfortability and happiness it's kind of like love and lust. They tie in together. They look the same, they sound the same, but they are so different. Are you happy or are you comfortable? Are you happy or are you used to this person? Are you happy or are you just not trying to start all over again because you're afraid it's not gonna last? Life is such a crazy thing to me. Life is so wild to me. Like it's, you never know what's gonna happen. Anything can happen in the blink of an eye. Whether Losing a job or losing that friend or that relationship or losing someone in your life or in your family The way I live my life every day is being as positive as I can. I'm not perfect. Yo, I make mistakes every day You guys have no idea. One thing I can say is that I love myself now And no one can ever take that away from me no matter how hard they try because they may not love themselves And they're insecure with themselves. It does not mean it's gonna become my problem now I know that I can live my life every day the way I do being free-spirited and doing things wholeheartedly whether I get hurt by this person or not saying well I tried I gave it my best I gave this job my best and my all but at the end of the day it was time for me to move on and I did and yeah, it was scary. And yeah, I'm gonna make mistakes to the day I die. But now I do things without fear. I do things wholeheartedly. I do things without thinking, what if I get hurt? I think about like, if, if it happens, it happens. If it don't, it don't. The only person that can stop me from being happy is truly you. It's up to you whether you wanna leave that relationship. It's up to you whether you wanna go find out what else is out there in life. It's up to you if you wanna leave that fucking job that you hate getting up every day, you hate putting on that uniform, you hate going into a 9 to 5, you hate this. And deep down inside, we know who was meant for us and who's not. You know, we are not meant for everybody and everybody is not meant for us and that's just facts. I guess the whole point is do not be afraid to live. Do not be afraid to take a chance in life. No matter how crazy it may seem, how painful you think this is gonna be, which you're absolutely right, it's gonna be painful. It's gonna be scary. And you might just go broke one day doing it. Go into a depression by leaving this person. But after all that happens, you're gonna rise up and shine 
and be the person you were set out to be, but you cannot be that person without leaving certain people in your past. Certain people in your past are not meant to be in your future, and if you bring them into your future, it's only gonna cause you negativity and pain, because that's just God's way of telling you, like, have you not learned your lesson yet? Can you really not hear me right now? The more you allow them in your life, the more they're gonna hurt you, because now they know that they can't hurt you. Until you put a stop to that. Because nowadays, whenever people find someone good, they don't wanna love you, no. They wanna see how much they can get out of you. They want things out of you. There's a quote, I think Bob Marley wrote it, I'm not really sure, don't quote me. It said, truth is, everybody is gonna hurt you. But you have to find the ones that are worth hurting for. And that spoke volumes to me. Like Certain friends of mine have hurt me in a sense. I know I, I have hurt people. I probably still do till this day. But there is some people that are worth hurting for and I don't mean that as like, okay, stay in a toxic situation because they're worth it. No, I mean that we're not perfect and certain honest mistakes will happen. Go find yourself, man. Go love yourself. Like, what the fuck are you so scared of? Failing? Let me tell you something. You're gonna fail. Okay? No matter what you do in life, you're gonna fail at everything before you rise up. You think a billionaire wakes up one day and is like, I'm gonna be rich tomorrow. And it happens like that? Nah. They fail, they fall, they wanna quit, they cry, they're depressed, they're, they're lost, but they don't stop, they don't give up. And my whole message to you guys is, don't give up on yourself. Keep going, love your life, love yourself, go find you. Cut out the toxic people, stop giving people chances to hurt you over and over and over again. Why are you still making excuses for these people? Why? They've shown you who they are. They've shown you their true colors, but you're sitting here still trying to repaint that picture because you have a big heart. Stop putting all your energy into all these negative people and put more energy into loving yourself. The minute you learn how to love yourself and you become confident and you know that you have reached an amazing point in your life, no one will ever be able to compete with that kind of self-love that you have. I encourage you guys to love yourself and I encourage you guys to take that chance. Just do it. Be scared. That's fine. Be scared. Go ahead. I'm scared every day, but don't let that fear live your life for you because you will live in the most trapped bubble your whole life. Being scared of what ifs when almost all the time, you always tell yourself, but what if that ha it never even happens? That being said, as always, Celise Rose, aka Mama Biscuit, aka Salsa Rose, I loves you. Team Salsa. And I love you guys so much. Love, 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 love all of you. And keep being great. And keep being amazing. Because only you can determine your worth. Nobody else. So stop giving people the power. Stop giving people the power to ruin your life. Make today the last day where you stop taking bullshit. Love you guys.